Good day folks, I hope you're doing well and in today's video we're gonna go over a bunch of new blender add-ons and these will include modeling ornaments, fluid simulation, add-ons for stylized assets, productivity, optimization and more. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Don't you hate it sometimes when you just want to add something to your work to make it pop like a backdrop, a fire simulation or just simply a professional looking light setup but you don't know where to start. That's why LibreX is one of those add-ons that you don't know you need before you use it. Simply put, it is a huge library of effects, simulations, lights, explosions, smoke, mist, cloth simulation presets, you name it. Also, building professional and interesting motion graphics and animations will take time. And add-ons like this one can help you be more productive. Now, can you do some of these effects using Blender internal tools? Absolutely, but the add-on will save you a lot of time. All the assets and presets are neatly packaged into their own categories, with a ton of UI control to customize these effects, so it is not just one and done effect, because you could really adjust these settings like the number of particles, quality of simulation, color of smoke, or shockwave, or any of these high quality effects. And yes, it does offer a free demo if you want to try it before you buy it. Next up we have another new add-on from pre-production. The developers behind popular add-ons such as Grassblade, Vegetation, Transportation, Cloudscapes, and many others. And this new add-on called Liquid Splash, as the name suggests, is a huge library of water assets like fountains, vortices, splashes. In addition, there are more abstract shapes for artistic and motion graphic visuals, and others can be used to follow a path like running water. These splashes and water assets also come with ready-to-use shaders. Three in particular are water, chocolate, and milk. And the whole library contains about 200 assets divided between 9 categories. This add-on also offers 25% off on an already cheap price if you use the code SPLASH25 at checkout. So if you think you need water in your scenes, which is the case in different environments, then consider this amazing collection of 3D liquid assets. Now, if you thought the previous two add-ons were interesting, I think you will like this one too. Ornament Generator is a great tool for generating ornaments and decorations. It is also useful for placing them on any surface. And the add-on features more than 260 ready-to-use patterns, I mean in addition to ornaments, organized between 11 categories like Early English, Greece, Modern, Nordic, Profiles, and so on. What's really neat about the add-on is that it's really simple to use. I know it feels like I say this about every Blender add-on, but this one just selects an edge loop and hit generate to get your ornaments. You can further adjust the scale, offset, and tilt of the pattern along with other adjustments from the add-ons panel. This next Blender add-on falls under the productivity camp, and coming to think of it, every Blender add-on is actually a productivity add-on to a certain extent because they save you time and effort. But Blender Q is a workflow enhancing tool that helps you keep everything organized and also allows you to run batch operations like rendering multiple projects with ease. And sometimes when you are working on a big project, you might end up with multiple blend files for scene one, scene two, and so on. You can import all projects through the add-ons window and you can keep track of their rendering results in addition to their rendering location, and even you can access them easily through the add-ons panel. But the best feature in the add-on, in my opinion, is the batch render feature, where you can change rendering settings for all the files in the same window, which will help you, dare I say, be more productive. In addition to many other features, like dynamic output location, where you don't have to set the location and render settings manually each single time. Although I think the UI needs more work, this add-on is a must-have if you deal with multiple Blender projects every single day. And there is also another new asset library add-on for all of you Japanese design fans, and this includes weebs out there too. If you are a Blender artist interested in Japanese stuff, this add-on is gonna quench all your Japanese architecture thirst. The collection is called 
Japanese shrines. Generally speaking, it is a collection of 60 plus high quality traditional Shinto shrine assets, things like Tori gates in all shapes and sizes. In addition to these Shiminawa robes that you can literally draw using a path anywhere you want and also you can control its size, rotation, in addition to other stuff. You also have these iconic paper lanterns that you can easily customize to your heart's content. The pack also includes stairs, fences, decorative elements, and other stuff. And just like the previous add-on, this one right here offers a limited time 25% off if you want to grab this during this launch week. Stylized Cloud is another new add-on that was released last week. And I hate to keep using this word, but this one looks amazing too. If you are a sucker for stylized art just like me, you're gonna love what this add-on has to offer. With a single click, you can generate infinite variations. And you can also control the overall shape by adjusting the underlying geometry. So generally speaking, this one was designed mainly with MPR and stylized renderers in mind. On a side note, these anime-like clouds kind of remind me of those Ghibli movies and their art styles, which I love so much. And the add-on is compatible with the asset browser. Also, the clouds can follow curves and they can be drawn manually. Also, on a side note, the add-on is aimed for EV, so that's for that. And I hope they will expand to cycles, because it would be awesome to use these clouds in cycles, especially when using path tracing. Another great add-on from last week is Easy Parallax, and this one looks interesting. Function-wise, it is very straightforward. You can transform your existing materials into stunning and real-time parallax occlusion mapping shaders in a short period of time. But what does that mean in practice? Well, you have a material with all the secondary maps like color, roughness, normals, displacement, as it is important for best results. Click the Add Parallax Occlusion Mapping button and you are done. Now, you can adjust the parallax slider strength to control the intensity and you will get yourself real depth without a crazy amount of geometry. There is also another mode where the add-on attempts to generate a displacement map automatically but truth to be told, I haven't tried this, at least not yet. So what I say about this, you can take it with a grain of salt. And this add-on is great for people that require resource-efficient workflows. This, for example, can be ideal for real-time applications, like when using game engines or viewport rendering. Although I wonder if you can export this parallax effect to other applications. The next one is not a single add-on, but rather a collection or a pack of multiple add-ons from Al Diesel. And this one is offering an Easy Blender Pro add-on, which allows you to create custom panels and pie menus. Also, custom Easy Materials, which is a library of highly customizable procedural materials. You also have Easy SLR, Modifier Master, Lighted, Easy Navigate, Custom Material Property, and more. All of these add-ons are offered for 50% off, so you can grab all of them for less than 19 bucks. But if you're among the lucky ones, I mean the first 50 people, you can grab it at 70% off. Now, if you find these add-ons interesting or not, is a different story. But I'm sure this bag got inside it something interesting for everyone. Last but not least, we have a new add-on called Fuzzy Master Add-on. And this add-on helps you to achieve that realistic felt effect. You can create fluffy clothes, light wool, in addition to other stuff, just using this add-on. Generally speaking, it is easy to use, and it is customizable. You can grab it for free to test it out, or you can get the paid version, which has all the features you will need. So this add-on is great for cartoony stop-motion animations, or to enhance clothing realism. And this thing can be applied to any surface, so garments, accessories, furniture, and so on. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.